Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to take a quick look at getting started with the RAD controls for WPF. Very first thing to do with getting started, of course, is to download and install the WPF trial. Once you're downloaded and fully installed, I'm going to take you over to the Zamoflix video tutorials, one of the best ways for getting comfortable with the new RAD controls, and then dive deep into the documentation to find out all that you can do with the RAD controls. Finally, we'll take a look at getting help from support. Let's begin by downloading the free trial, clicking the download free trial button. This is a very, very quick download of the installer. I'll put that into my temp directory. And once that's downloaded, I'll open up my temp directory and double click on the installer. Up comes the Telerik installer and I'm presented with a couple options. I can install Test Studio Express and Silverlight. Both a very good idea under normal circumstances, but for now I'm just going to install WPF. It asks me to confirm where I want to do the installation and accept the license agreement and I'll click the installer. And then depending on the speed of your internet connection, this can be a quick or somewhat slower process of downloading and installing all of the files. But as you go along, you'll be informed at every step where you are in the installation process. When you're completed, you click thank you. And now I'm going to bring up Visual Studio to just test that the installation was fully successful. Notice that there is now a Telerik menu choice where I could create my new Telerik project or I'm free to go over to new project and go over to the Telerik templates. I want the Windows Telerik templates and create RAD controls with WPF application right there. Let's call this RAD Grid View WPF test. When we click OK, the Telerik project configuration wizard comes up. We're going to click on grid view because we'll be creating a very quick grid view application just to make sure everything is working properly. The Telerik DLLs have been installed along with their references. We can go over to the main page XAML and notice that the Telerik namespace has been declared automatically for us. That allows us to say Telerik rad grid view and get that helpful IntelliSense. We're going to give our new grid view control a name and then we're going to go over and create two quick data classes the employee class which has four public properties and we'll save that and create a second quick data class the employee service class and employee service will drop in some data that we can use for testing our grid view let's just get the right namespace for the observable collection add the correct using statement and we are ready to go and hook this up let's go back to main page XAML CS here we're going to put the name of our grid view and then set its items source property to the result of calling the static method get employees on the employee service we're ready to run the application. This pop-up is the only difference between using the trial version and using the full version. There's no other difference. It's fully functional. We can get rid of that by clicking cancel and up comes the grid and we see that the grid is working properly and we have a full and working installation. Next stop is XAMLflix, which is the set of videos created for providing step-by-step tutorials and videos on the RAD controls for Silverlight and WPF. Scroll down, we see that we have a few videos on each topic. You can click those videos and run them and also, of course, run them in full screen. Also on the left, you can go over and download the source code for the project in each step of these videos. On the right, you see there are a number of videos that have already been completed. Let's take a look at Gantt View. In that video, we have a new feature, which is a tutorial that is a written searchable text version of the video tutorial. If we click on that and open it up, you'll quickly see that we've got a 14-page PDF file that has all of the information 
of the original video tutorial, including all of the code and all of the images. Let's return to community and support and take a look at documentation. The documentation is quite extensive. We'll scroll down and find WPF online help. And here we begin with an overview of WPF RAD controls and a list of all of the RAD controls. It's an extensive list. We're just going to scroll down to grid view and select that, which brings us over to an overview of the grid view control for WPF, including its highlighted features. Let's click on getting started. And in the getting started topic, we find a number of very useful pieces of information in to, for our application, including the list of DLLs that are needed for working with RAD grid view, an example of how to declare the RAD grid view in your XAML, and then a complete tutorial of getting started with RAD grid view, including the code you need that you can copy and paste directly in, as we saw earlier, to create some data to work with the RAD grid view. There it is in VB, and there's our employee service class with all of the data provided. Scrolling all the way down in this file, we come down to some additional links, including two key features for the RAD grid view. This will give an overview of the key features, the most important features in RAD grid view. And on the left, you can see that's under general information. We also have a section called features, and that will give you more detail on more of the features. Each of these features, as you can see, then has its own section. We can open up sorting, click on basic sorting, and get the information that we need about getting started with sorting and disabling sorting in the RAD grid view. In addition to, on the left, all of the sections for the various features, there's a very important section called How To. Under How To is where you find the advanced topics such as drag and drop and adding tooltips, setting the current cell, and so forth. Returning to community and support, another great place to go for help are the forums. The first thing to notice in the forums and very powerful feature is the search box where you can put in questions and be taken directly to a list of related topics. Or if you choose, you can scroll down to WPF, click on WPF, that will take you to the topics, which of course has its own search box, a general discussion on top, and then there are discussion forums for each of the RAD controls for WPF. Each of these has numerous threads. Many of the questions are answered by support personnel from Telerik. Finally, there are the blogs. Clicking on the blogs takes you to the general blogs, general Telerik blogs. There are also feature team blogs and blogs for each of the evangelists. Clicking on an individual evangelist blog takes you to the entries that that evangelist feels are most important and pressing for the particular community, in this case, Silverlight and WPF. So you can download your trial at Telerik.com slash WPF. Once it's installed, we urge you to go to XamilFlix at Telerik.com slash XamilFlix. From there, you may want to go to the documentation at Telerik.com slash help slash WPF. And, of course, if you need support, that's available at Telerik.com slash support. If you're already convinced and wish to buy, that's at Telerik.com slash purchase. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much. I look forward to talking with you again very soon.